837 here on the Big 550 KTRS. Doug McKelvin along with uh, uh, Kelly Jackson. And joining us is Kat Nettle, the publisher of Feast Magazine. You know, I, Willie, our producer, printed out a couple of things for us. Yeah. And this one, I really like the concept. Two guys and a chick. I know. Sandwich no. shop. Yeah. But you know it's what I really like? The can of best soda there. Isn't that neat? Local soda. I know. Oh, yeah. but this, Keep it local. But this cheeseburger looks crazy good. Yeah. Well, number one, this is in your neighborhood. I know. I picked this for you because yes. I am always trying to find places in Benton Park. Thank you. Because we do have some great restaurants in my hood. Absolutely. So uh, Two Guys and a Chick is at 3000 South Jefferson, Where which is place? right around Jefferson and like Arsenal. Okay. Um, and so it's a family run spot. And... People love the food here. So the burger that you're looking at is a one pound oh, double my, cheeseburger. Holy I am not kidding. I just had Dr. Lim. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I am just the messenger. I know. Um, and so there is actually a challenge at the restaurant where if you can eat this along with fries and a soda, it's free. But the thing about, um, about the sandwich shop is that everything is incredibly inexpensive, like four to seven bucks for a char grilled um, hamburger. They have all of these, like they have Chicago dogs and um, Polish sausage. They um, have an Italian sandwich with like ham, mortadella, salami, and pepperoni. Um, they have like these big Philly cheesesteaks. Everything mm. is approachable. And you know, they're like, this is the kind of stuff that we like to eat. And so mm. we wanna bring this to the neighborhood. And um, yeah, that, that double cheeseburger is oh insane. Oh, goodness. Two guys and a chick. Yes. Int intriguing name. I'm assuming there's two guys, two guys and a woman and a, and that's a involved woman. in this yes. project, right? So, um, so Bill Adams, with his son and his daughter, son Stephen and daughter Crystal, they are the folks who are behind this concept. And they, I, I believe this is their first foray into the restaurant industry. And they were like, the space was available. Let's just see what happens. And mm -hmm. people love it they cannot get enough of this place and it sounds you know uh, very simple like you know chicago dogs and burgers but everything is really delicious and they also serve pizza mm. um st louis 14 inch st louis style pizzas like pepperoni and um a hamburger sausage cheese all that kind of stuff so nothing is kind of you know over the top crazy everything mm -hmm. is just super approachable so if you want a really great philly cheesesteak or an awesome st louis style pizza this is the place to get it why why is just sidetracking here why yeah. is provolone cheese so big in this part of the country you mean anyway. provel? provel provel sorry um well provel was my understanding of the history is that it was developed specifically for st louis style pizza ah. and it is a processed blend of provolone Swiss and cheddar, which, which I uh, I also believe they add some smoke flavoring. The um, the trademark um, was purchased by Kraft, and when you look, um, it actually is a because it's a trademarked cheese. You have to capitalize as an editor. You have to capitalize yeah. the P. Mm. Um, but you you rarely find it outside of the St. Louis area. But it is specifically for um, for pizza. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, mm. it is and, really and, interesting. And because I've gone to other parts of the country and and mentioned. Uh, specific types of pizza and the, the products that are on them mm -hmm. and people go what are you talking about is mm -hmm. you know you're not aware of this and then i started looking by being up in new england mm -hmm. looking for this cheese yeah it's you can't find it you, you yeah. can't find no. this stuff if you um there's a there's a website uh, I, funny enough at, in the feast office we were talking about this like last week we were looking up the history of, of st louis style pizza and did you know like back in the 40s pizza was a novelty it was something that people were like there's this new thing it's this Italian delicacy yeah. called pizza. And if you look at the ads that were placed like in the Post-Dispatch uh -huh. back in the day, um, they actually told you how to uh, it? pronounce it. Oh. How to pronounce <laughs> it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> A absolutely it's so really really interesting and like there's a there's an article that the post ran um that uh said well there is this herb that they use it's a type of basil called oregano <laughs> isn't that and, interesting i mean when, when you really think about the evolution of of yeah. food in the united states um right now i mean pizza obviously is this ubiquitous food but back mm -hmm. in the 40s as early as the 40s it was a novelty that's like that's uh, just so hard to believe isn't it hard to believe yeah. it's incredible my dad lives on cape cob and Believe it or not, it's hard to find Lindberger cheese up there, and he loves the stuff. That's we, surprising we, to me. I know. Yeah. And, and so as a result, when we would fly up to visit him, I would buy Lindberger cheese here. 
It's you really would, it's really tough traveling on an airplane say, with Limburger cheese. I think that would be kind <laughs> well, of hard. When our son was a toddler, and we get on the, I, I take this stuff, I double wrap it, I put it in aluminum foil, I put it in a bag, I ice the thing down six ways to Sunday. We get on the plane, and people are starting to look at my son like. That kid needs his diaper yeah, cheese. No, no, it's the Limburger no, yeah, cheese. It's pretty, that's that's a you. smelly oh, cheese. Oh, 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 oh. Stinky cheese. <laughs> crushed yes. red, what's crushed reds all about? This mm, is another one of those yummy. photos that look absolutely mind-numbingly good. To well, eat. Crushed Red is a local fast casual chain. And so I thought that these two paired really well together because we're talking like pizza and sandwiches and like very approachable, um, inexpensive food. So Crushed Red, they have a new location in Chesterfield and that's at 1684 Clarkson Road. And this is their fourth location in St. Louis. They have other locations. They're opening up one in Edwardsville. They have one in Denver. Um, so they're, they're, they're growing. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they're growing is the food is delicious. The pizzas are made with a whole grain crust um, hand stretched. Nice. Uh, they're part of the Green Dining Alliance. They, uh, they try to be at zero or almost no waste. They use as many organic ingredients as they possibly can. Nothing is processed. All their dressings are made in-house out of organic ingredients. Um, but it's all very approachable and, yeah. again, inexpensive. And they specialize in these hand-chopped salads that are made to order. And they, um, when you order them, you walk up, and the guys behind the, you know, the, the counter, they use these mezzalunas, which are those kind of rocking yeah. choppers, the Italian rocking mm -hmm. choppers, um, to chop up your salad. Um, the pizzas are, are like cooked in, like, 90 seconds to order and um, also they have a lot of wonderful soups some of which are vegan or vegetarian and uh, it's just it's and you can also get beer and wine which is great. You don't mm -hmm. find that in a lot of fast casual outlets. Um, but they have, for example, um, they have a, a, their stuff is really fun. So like a cowpoke smoked salad um, with a sirloin steak and tomato, onion, blue cheese and jalapeno straws. That's Jalapeno, jalapeno. Um, that's jalapeno. something that jalapeno. Um, that's something that I would order because yeah. I love that kind of like funky blue cheese and the yeah. spicy and all that kind of good stuff. Um, they also have their take on a niswa salad with tuna, uh, green beans, kalamata olives, um, egg, tomato, potato, and goat cheese. Delicious. And then they do these um, these wonderful. I really love. I love flatbreads. I love the melty cheese. The mm -hmm. you know <laughs> they don't use provel at um, at crust shred but they have one called like the big island which is um, organic tomatoes and pineapple prosciutto caramelized onion they have a sriracha chicken with obviously sriracha flavored chicken mm. um, and then parmesan cream and blue cheese caramelized onion bacon and black olives so you can see what they do is they layer a lot of yeah. flavors mm -hmm. and textures and all that kind of good stuff and that's the thing i love salads mm -hmm. i could eat them every day Me all too. day it's not the same as when you make them at home. They're just <laughs> not. Although I do make them at home, but I think it's great that they, you know, can dress them up. And oh, yeah. Make but it's, them it's interesting, too, people. because a lot of times, a lot of restaurant food, the reason it tastes so good is because of the butters and the oils. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as a result, that's why, it, you know, I think people tend to go to restaurants and sometimes kind of overeat. So it's nice to hear people doing natural yeah. ingredients and putting them in that, in that fashion and making Absolutely. it taste so good. Absolutely. Yeah, you can go. You can go on the you know higher flavor fat you know yeah. end at Crush Shrub, but you can also get really um, you know very very healthy things. And like they have a, a harvest grain and mushroom soup, a potato soup, oh, and good. then they also do things like um, a mushroom and brie bisque. Which just Ooh, sounds so good. Does. Time yeah. for lunch. Oh, I know. Got that covered. Well, and there no. is. You're, what time you guys are, are open? <laughs> well, pretty yes, soon, actually. I know. But there is a crush shred here in Clayton, so yeah, yeah. it's right down the street. It Very is. good. Kat, thanks so much for dropping by. Absolutely. Oh, by the way, what's the latest in the uh, the publication, the magazine Feast? Well, uh, the July issue is coming out actually on Friday, and it is our ode to summer. So there's a hot yes. dog roundup and. Um, and I, actually, there's also a feature story on the Rio Syrup Company. If you've had a snow cone, whether you are here in St. Louis or if you are, I mean, you could be in California, you can be in New York. If you're having a snow cone, more than likely the syrup is made here in St. Louis by the Rio Syrup Company. I'll bring copies with me next week so you guys can see it. That'll Fantastic. be fun. Thanks so much for coming in and joining us today. Absolutely. We appreciate Thanks, it. Ken. That is Cat uh, Neville, publisher of Feast Magazine. Twisted Tree sponsoring Catherine's interview with us today. Twisted Tree Steakhouse at Watson and Lindbergh in Sunset Hills. Check out their Sip and Savor Happy Hour 3 to 6. Give our buddy Jimmy Cristo a call at 314-394-3366 or Twisted Tree Steakhouse.